Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be all the things that you need to buy before getting into med school. So if you're getting into med school this year, obviously you'll be curious and excited to know all the things that you need to get before getting into first year. And this video is the right video for you. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. So today's video is divided under the following subtopics. You can also use the timestamps to navigate. Let's talk about all the academic things that you will need, for example, textbooks, notebooks, stationery, and other apparatus that you'll need for your practical classes. Firstly, textbooks. My personal advice would be please do not rush into buying textbooks before even the classes start. Make sure you attend classes for at least a month, and that's when you decide which textbook you have to buy. I'm telling this out of experience as few of my friends had purchased books before the classes even started and then realized that that book was not for them. For example, they had purchased BDC and that didn't work for them. So they had to purchase Vishram again. So that would be a huge economical loss. So that's why I'm saying, please do not rush into purchasing books. So what can you do for that one month? So what I personally did was, I borrowed the textbooks from my seniors and I used to attend the class, come back to room and try to read the same concept from two books that is BDC and Vishram Singh for example if, if you're talking about anatomy and I personally understood Vishram Singh better and my concepts and all my class doubts were cleared and so I stuck on to that book till the end. I personally did not buy any textbooks for first year. I used ebooks from in my ipad itself i love reading from my ipad so i used it like that and i also borrowed textbooks from my senior who was ready to give me her textbooks for a year so that i can use the hard copy during classes but rest i used my ipad itself next let's talk about notebooks about notebooks i would recommend you guys to buy long notebooks also unruled notebooks because unruled notebooks are more flexible to work upon and your diagrams will be clearer and easier to understand also you might ask me ki i like taking e notes can i do that yeah obviously you can take e notes but nothing can beat the effectiveness of pen paper note taking so what i personally did was i took all my class notes as pen paper notes itself and all my personal notes that is for my revision for subjects like physiology and biochemistry also some part of anatomy i took on my ipad as e notes so you can try out both and whichever works for you you can continue with that so next let's talk about stationery obviously you'll need general stationery such as pens pencils erasers etc so the specific things that you will need are a set of color pencils h &E pencils that is hematoxylin and eosin pencils that will be required for histology practicals recommendations that i would give are please do buy highlighters they would help you to color code a few points in your textbooks and they'll help you revise easily also please do buy sticky notes personally i am a huge fan of sticky notes because i used to concisely make notes like one page was summarized in a sticky note and i used to stick it on my wall and whenever i used to wander in my room i used to look at that and it used to serve as a source of revision so it is really helpful i hope it helps you out too so please do try that out if you want a detailed video on my note taking do comment down below i will make it got all these clinical apparatus as a medical kit from our cooperative society we had to pay them a certain amount and they had given us dissection kit bp apparatus stethoscope and lancet lancing device tuning forks knee hammer and all the other apparatus that we need also people might ask me if you need a branded stethoscope or a bp apparatus in first year no it's absolutely not required you can just use a normal stethoscope and a bp apparatus it is mainly required only for physiology practicals and they're all minor stuff only i don't think till internship we'll actually need a proper proper litman or anything yeah and uh, so if your college provides you with like anything like this like cooperative society provides you with a medical kit then obviously you would have to buy it from there you won't have a problem but if your college does not provide any of this kit then i would recommend you guys to talk to a senior and they'll be your guide to this they'll probably help you out with what you need for your particular college and where you can buy it from so another important aspect is a bone set bone set you have to purchase it from your seniors itself there are other bone sets available in the market which are made of plastic but they are not as effective for learning and many medical colleges do not accept them as well. So I would recommend you guys to buy the bone set from your seniors itself in a group of two or three people from different batches so that you can share it and it will cost lesser per person. Next let's talk about electronics. 
firstly i would say you need to have a proper smartphone obviously nowadays everyone has a smartphone because all your class pdfs messages and everything comes on whatsapp and you will have it for sure i would also recommend you to have a proper analog watch if you do not have it then you can buy it or else you can use the old one itself because analog watches are only allowed into the exam halls from day one if you have a proper time management strategy it will help you for the final exam as well because time management is a concern especially for subjects like anatomy and physiology anatomy because you have to draw a lot of diagrams it might consume time and physiology because you have to draw flow charts it might consume time so you need to know how to manage time so if you want a proper video on time management do comment down below and i would love to make it my personal recommendation would be have a proper set of headphones or earphones it's quite important i feel at least for myself because you need your time out for yourself right and you need to cut off the world sometimes and headphones really help you to do that especially if you're living in a sharing hostel room or something like that and they will also help you uh, listen to your lectures watch videos movies i mean i i don't have to say about all that right so yeah have a proper set of headphones or earphones that would really help you next obviously you would ask ki do we need an ipad or a laptop in first year i would say ki it's not compulsory that you have to have an ipad or laptop in first year my parents gifted me an ipad because i got into a government medical college and it was very very helpful actually i used this ipad to read my textbooks yeah i used this only i did not buy textbooks i read ebooks itself i also made my personal notes on my ipad itself as i already mentioned and also i watched lectures on my ipad so it was quite helpful but if you don't have it that doesn't mean you need to rush into buying it if you can afford it and if you think you really need it you can buy it next uh, let's talk about hostel needs obviously you would have to buy some things like hostel wear clothes and other personal items and you know bed sheets and not, what not so you'll probably know what to buy also for hostel needs i would say buy the basic things that you need for survival but do not rush into buying something extravagant so what i personally did in the first month was i wrote down a needs list every time i felt like i needed something else i wrote it down and then at the end when i was coming back home i reviewed the list and i saw what are the things that i actually require so then i came back and i bought it again and took it to hostel so your experience will only tell you what all the things you need in hostel for your survival so make sure you know what you need and then buy so my final advice at the end of this video would be that do not rush into buying anything before actually getting into college that is not absolutely required for college make sure you first go into college get acquainted to that atmosphere and environment and your experiences will only make you know what you actually require for college so then you can buy it that's what i personally did and it really helped me out so that's it for today's video guys i hope i've covered everything if i feel like i have to add on some points it would be there in the pinned comments in the comment section and also i am open to your suggestions and comments please do comment down below and i will love to reply to all of your comments thanks for watching